Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. It is always fun to learn maths through activities. In today's video, we shall perform an interesting and challenging puzzle to test your knowledge of algebraic identities. For this activity, we need two A4 size white colored sheets, a ruler, two markers and a pair of scissors. On a white color sheet, draw figure 1 as shown here. Students, note that all the triangles in this figure are isosceles triangles. Then carefully write the algebraic identities on the sides of all the triangles as displayed here. Similarly, draw figure 2 as shown here and write all the algebraic identities on the sides of all the triangles very carefully. Students, again note that all the triangles in this figure are isosceles triangles. Students, let's see the aim of this activity. Aim of this activity is to test your knowledge of algebraic identities. In order to do this activity, cut out the triangles given in figure 1 and 2 and arrange them in the form of a big triangle such that number 1 outer side of triangle should remain empty and number 2 is expansion of identity should be just below the line. Note that identities are repeated more than one time and all the triangles are isosceles triangles. Now let's understand this question. We have to arrange the triangles from figure 1 and figure 2 in the form of a big triangle shown here. And the first condition is outer side of triangle should remain empty. It means that we have to place the pieces of this puzzle in such a way that there should not be any identity on any side of the big triangle. And the next condition is expansion of identity should be just below the line. As you can see A plus B whole square is above the line and its expansion is below the line. Students, I think now it is clear what we have to do in this puzzle. So let's start. In order to do this activity, cut out the triangles from figure 1 and figure 2 with the help of a pair of scissors. You will get the triangles as shown here. Students, now I am marking the triangles from 1 to 16 so that I can explain you the solution in a better way. Students, as you can see, some triangles are empty on left side, some triangles are empty on right side and some triangles are empty on bottom side. But note that triangle number 2 is empty on two sides. Therefore, this triangle is the top of our big triangle. So let's place it on the top of the big triangle. Now let's arrange two more corner triangles as they have two sides empty. First, let's find this highlighted triangle. We know that bottom and left side of this triangle should be empty. So let's identify such triangle in our cutouts. You can see that triangle number 6 is empty on bottom and left side. Therefore, let's place this triangle at this corner. Similarly, let's find the remaining corner. We know that bottom and right side of this triangle should be empty. So let's identify this triangle in our cutouts. Students note that triangle number 7 is empty on bottom and right side. Therefore, let's place this triangle at this corner. Now students, let's move on and identify this highlighted triangle. We need such a triangle which has expansion of formula A plus B whole square on its bottom and this triangle should have no empty sides as well. So let's identify this triangle in our cutout. Students note that triangle number 4, 5 and 14 have expansion of formula A plus B whole square. But triangle number 5 has one side empty and we need a triangle with no empty side. Therefore, triangle number 5 is not the triangle we are looking for. Now, out of triangle number 4 and 14, only triangle number 4 has the expansion of A plus B whole square on its bottom side. So let's place 
triangle number 4 here. Now let's find the next highlighted triangle. We need such a triangle which has expansion of A minus B whole square and its left side should be empty. So students, let's find such triangle in our cutouts. Triangle number 8, 10 and 16 have expansion of formula A minus B whole square. But only triangle number 10 has left side empty. Therefore, let's place this triangle number 10 here. Now, let's find the next highlighted triangle. We need such a triangle which has formula A cube minus B cube and its right side should be empty. So, let's find this triangle in our cutouts. Triangle number 3, 11 and 13 have formula A cube minus B cube but triangle number 11 has no side empty. Therefore, this is not the triangle we are looking for. Out of triangle 3 and 13, only triangle number 13 has the right side empty. So students, let's place this triangle number 13 here. Now let's move on and find the next highlighted triangle. We need such a triangle which has expansion of formula a square minus b square and this triangle should have no empty side. So students, let's find such triangle in our cutouts. Students, note that there is only one such triangle which is triangle number 15. It has the expansion of a square minus b square and it has no empty side. So let's put this triangle here. Now let's find this next highlighted triangle. Students, we need such a triangle which has expansion of formula a plus b whole cube and its left side should be empty. So let's find such a triangle in our cutouts. Please note that only triangle number 9 has the expansion of formula a plus b whole cube and its left side is also empty. Therefore, let's put this triangle here. Now, let's look for the next highlighted triangle. We need such a triangle which has formula a cube plus b cube and expansion of formula a minus b whole cube. It should also have no empty side. So let's find such triangle in our cutouts. Observe that triangle number 11 and 16 have formula a cube plus b cube. But only triangle number 11 has the expansion of formula a minus b whole cube. So let's place triangle number 11 here. Now students, let's look for next highlighted triangle. We need such a triangle which has expansion of formula a cube minus b cube and its bottom side should be empty. So let's look for such triangle in our cutouts. If you look closely, you will observe that triangle number 3, 8 and 12 have expansion of formula a cube minus b cube. But only triangle number 3 has bottom side empty. Therefore, let's put triangle number 3 here. Students, let's move on and look for the next highlighted triangle. We need such a triangle which has expansion of formula a cube minus b cube and none of its sides should be empty. So, let's find such triangle in our cutouts. If you observe, you will find that triangle number 8 and 12 have expansion of formula a cube minus b cube but only triangle number 12 has no empty side. So let's place triangle number 12 here. Now let's find the next highlighted triangle. We need such a triangle which has expansion of formula a plus b whole square and has the formula a minus b whole cube. It should also have no empty side. So let's look for such triangle in our cutouts. Students, look carefully and you will find that only triangle number 14 has expansion of formula a plus b whole square and formula a minus b whole cube with no empty side. So let's place this triangle here. Let's find the next highlighted triangle. We need such a triangle which has expansion of a plus b whole square with empty bottom side. Let's look out for such triangle in our cutouts. Only triangle number 5 has the expansion of a plus b whole square with bottom side empty. So let's put triangle number 5 here. 
Now let's move and find the next highlighted triangle. We need such a triangle which has expansion of a minus b whole square and formula a plus b whole cube. This triangle should also have no empty side. So let's find such triangle in our cutouts. Students, only triangle number 16 has the expansion of a minus b whole square and formula a plus b whole cube with no empty side. So let's put triangle number 16 here. Students, we just have to find last two pieces of our puzzle. Now let's look for next highlighted triangle which should have expansion of a minus b whole square and formula a plus b whole square. The triangle should also have no empty side. So let's look for such triangle in our cutouts. Only triangle number 8 has the expansion of a minus b whole square and formula a plus b whole square with no empty side. So let's put triangle number 8 here. Now let's put the last triangle. This triangle should have the formula a cube minus b cube and expansion of a cube plus b cube. So this completes our puzzle. I hope you enjoyed this activity and you must try this at home. I am sure after this activity you will always remember the algebraic identities and their expansion correctly. Thank you. Bye bye. See you in the next